Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're just gonna take a quick look at an oldie but a goodie. This is the Marvel Select Abomination, one that I never reviewed. I've been asked to review it a ton of times, and it happened to be in stock at Big Bad Toy Store the other day. It still might be, so I'll put a link in the description below. Maybe it's coming and going. I don't know what's happening with restocks or reissues or whatever, so I'll put it down there. If you guys wanna check it out, go for it. It's funny, because right after I ordered it, somebody messaged me and said, hey, it's in stock, go get one. And and I already did. So here it is. And it's one of the old ones. Let me be clear. It doesn't have all of the articulation, but it does look kind of cool. So I thought I would show it to you. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Okay. First thing I want to do is show you my package. It's a big one. It is a real big one. All of the Marvel Select packaging is humongous. I don't know how anybody collects these on the card. So if you do, let me know. <laughs> do you have the world's largest wall space? Because it's a huge, huge, huge package, but not bad. And it's kind of a very specific look. To me, it's kind of nostalgic because even though I didn't collect them, these were all over the place at all the shops I was frequenting back when I very first started my YouTube channel. But that's irrelevant to anyone but me. So let's get on with the review. This guy stands, man, he's heavy. This one stands about, let's say to the head, about 24 and a half centimeters, not counting his little ears. And that's gonna be just about nine and a half inches. Here he is up against a Darwin. He is quite large. Here he is up against a Marvel Select cap, still quite large. And this guy is definitely fudgeable because he's Abomination. And there's a McFarlane Batman. Okay, so question of the day. Might you consider buying something like this despite its extreme limitation in posability just because it looks cool? Because for me, yes. Once you start to have a certain number of collectibles, it comes to the point where you don't really have that much space for posing anyway. So for me, if I'm gonna have a display of Marvel figures, most likely they're gonna be in hero poses. It's not gonna be some dramatic uh, like diorama type thing. So this'll work just fine for me. It's why I have their um, Juggernaut. It's why I had their Sabretooth before we got a good Marvel Legends one. And it's why I wanted this one forever and never got around to getting it, but now I finally did. He looks great. The sculpt is very, very nice. There's detail everywhere. Obviously it's a unique sculpt, very stylized, but you can see the narrow waist, big chest, big shoulders. It looks like he could have just come right out of the comics. So I love that. I love the sculpt work on this guy. Paint work, it's not the most purposeful thing in the world. There's a lot of dry brushing going on, some brown here and there, but it does bring him to life. It makes him pop and I like it. The sculpt is maybe not the most polished thing in the world. Like I know he's not supposed to be symmetrical, but he does have like a big cutout right here that he doesn't have over here. So. His musculature is a little bit weird here and there. Same thing at the waist. You can see the belt doesn't quite line up with the uh, actual abdomen. If you look over there, there's a lot of black overhang or underhang. So yeah, there's it's not a perfect thing. It, it has a very hand sculpted, hand painted sort of vibe. And I'm okay with that personally for what it is. And uh, I like it. They painted the claws, of course. That's not the kind of thing you get all the time. And then with the face, his eyes could be painted a little bit better, but his teeth look decent. So, hey, you know what? I'll take it. He's gonna stand in the back of the shelf and just look menacing and cool, and I'm all right with that, but um, you have to be into this sort of thing pretty specifically if you're gonna get this sort of thing. So aesthetically, it's pretty good. I don't know if I need to bother with a rating since it's so old and uh, basically a statue, so I won't. As far as accessories go, he gets this in the box. I don't know if this is a thing they did for a while. It's tiny and weird, like the cutouts, I don't know, <laughs> there's a little bit of sky there, but it's cut out square. It's, it's just a weird little cardboard thing. You can turn it around. Obviously you can just turn the cardboard around if you want and you have the same thing after it's all destroyed or more destroyed, I guess. I don't know. So that's it for accessories. And then for posability, <laughs> there's almost zero, <laughs> almost literally zero. The head is on what I'm guessing is a ball peg, but it's definitely a ball peg, but you just get a little bit of wiggle up and down and then rotation. That's it, that's all you get there. For the shoulder, you can at least rotate that all the way around and bring it up that far, <laughs> without heating it at least. And then for the elbow, you can straighten the arm out. Okay, the arm is straight. And then you can bend it to less than 90 degrees. For the wrist, you get a basic swivel on both sides, same thing on both sides. For the torso, you already saw it, it's just a cut. So that's not exactly extraordinary. For the hips, it looks like there was gonna be articulation, but then they didn't do it. 
and I'm guessing this is just connected on a ball peg in there, but it's very limited. Like you get, you get almost nothing out of it. So it's weird to me that they bothered with a knee joint, especially since it's a very ugly knee joint. I hate that kind of cut. And since the hips don't work anyway, I would just leave the legs straight and do that. Just leave his leg completely straight. I don't like this at all. And then for the ankle, I'll show you on this foot, I guess. You get a little bit of ankle range and it's ratcheted to hold him up nicely, but there's no ankle rocker at all. And since the hips don't really work, so you shouldn't be using the knees, you don't really have a use for the ankles either. So he's gonna be standing like this with maybe his arms posed a little bit and his head looking down a little bit because he can't really look up. So it's a very, very basic action figure, but it looks damn cool. So, if you're into this sort of thing, I'll put the link down there. Maybe he'll pop back in stock if he's not now. I have no idea at this point. When I got this guy, it was like a month ago. But uh, it might be your cup of tea. It might be something to add to the collection because at least he looks cool. That's the way I look at something like this. I mean, I've got enough figures that pose well enough that don't look good that I don't mind throwing in what is basically a statue. But let me know how you guys feel about that sort of thing in the comment section below. We'll talk down there. But that's it for me. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos just about every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.